I'm not gonna lie. I'm only here because of the TV show. And, and I'm just telling the truth. I know everyone's grand, grandpa, dog, cat, mouse, hamster is all playing Fallout 4. But nah, nah. We're gonna be playing Fallout New Vegas today. And as you can see, I dressed the part today. I got my blue jumpsuit. Huh? I got my yellow hair. Huh? And I'm meant to be the vault boy. I, I, I look quite similar to him, don't I? The Fallout show was absolutely insane, bro. I finished it from start to end. It was so good. Like, video game adaptations are getting so good these days. I can't think of a recent bad one. Like, how could you flop a video game adaptation, you know? Fallout New Vegas is supposedly the best Fallout game ever made. I'm just really excited to be playing this. Hope you guys enjoy this. I, I have no idea what to expect. Let's enter the wasteland. Oh, it's a moon. Lucky 38. Viva Las Vegas. 2025. Hey, that's next year. Ooh. Oh, I love the whole aesthetic of Fallout, bro. It's insane. Ah, it makes me feel warmly. Is that even a word? Warmly? No. Oh. Ro revolving cocktail, artist tables, <laughs> robot popo, bro. Top <laughs> twenty one. Welcome, all out New Vegas. <laughs> oh shoot, bro, that's like sniper elite. Looks cool. Oh, who's that? War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. Hmm. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Mr. House. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn mm. for the worse. It's hard to deliver back. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? 
Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? How is this guy? You've made your last delivery, kid. What? Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. Oh, no. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Nah! Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, my. All right. Fallout New Vegas. Oh, my. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Oh. Getting a lot of items over here. Caravan pack. Tribal pack. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there. Easy. Oh. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Seems Why don't like you just it. relax a second. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I I, I don't know. My name's Josh. My name's Josh came. Yeah. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Wow. I'm Doc Mitchell. Nice to meet you, Doc. Welcome to Good Springs. Thank you. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. <laughs> what? I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. All right. What's that? How'd I do? Oh. Well, I'm 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 a male. I think I'm just gonna go with the, the Elvis Presley haircut. You no, know, look retro. Yep. I feel like we need a full beard, bro. Cause my guy looks weird. So we're gonna do that. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I hope I can get on my feet. Good. Oh. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Okay. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Bro, the man's so close to me. Alright. We're looking good so far. Thank you. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Okay. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay, here we go. Look at that. You do agility. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after Thank you. what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. That's the thing's well, great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn or drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Well, I don't like it the, well, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> My dogs are still barking. Okay, well, there we go. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Dog. Uh. Kick. What? <laughs> what? Kick the dog. Uh. I. I feed. House. Hmm. House. Shelter. Night. Night. Dream. Bandit. Oh, bandit. Swiss cheese. <laughs> bandit, uh, stab. Light. Light. Uh, inspiration. Mother. Mother. Warmth, if they have that. No. Human shield, tattle, tantrum, cookie jar, jeans, caretaker, kick. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I okay. want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Okay. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I strongly agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Hmm. Agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh, agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell uh -huh. me what you see. 
Uh, I see clouds. Angry two-headed ants. I do gotta see that. What? <laughs> I gotta go there. Okay. How about this one? I see a prize's work of art, some piece of space age technology, a ship at sea. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. Oh. Well, I see that one. Last one. Ooh. I see two dudes holding hands. A mushroom cloud. A head on a pillow. I didn't see that. A bearded man. I didn't see a bearded man. Yeah. Well, that's all she wrote. Yeah. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. Ooh. Do, do I need me to... Nah, we're gonna go barter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Sure. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Okay. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Okay. She's up to two traits. Oh, wow. A lot of, a lot of traits for you. Bolt to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus three chance. Critical hit. Okay, well, we're taking that. You're good natured at heart. More prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain plus five to barter medicine, repair, science, speech, and have. Oh. Okay, well, we're taking that. Sure. All right, I guess that about does it. Thank you. Come with me, I'll see you out. Okay, how about. Well, Doc, I. I do, I, I do need some clothes because I'm currently walking in my underpants. So you just don't let me out without clothes. What's, what's going on here? here? These are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Can you give me a gun? They call it a pip boy. Ah. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. Thank you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. <laughs> Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Shouldn't have gone through my stuff. What do I do now? You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. Sunny she can Smiles. help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Okay. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Thank but you, Doc. Try not to get killed anymore. Will do. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in New Arkham mode. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not gonna do hardcore mode now. I, be I better play the game. The doctor really helped me out. Jay says bright. Whoa. Well, there's the popo. We made it to the wasteland. Uh, even though we got ourselves killed, but we are here now. Alyssa, how are you doing? Doing alright. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Yeah. When I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great. Uh, you know anything about the people attacking? The was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Okay, show me what they have to sell. Mmm. I don't have anything. I can sell stuff. Oh wait, I have a pistol. Hold up a second. What? Oh my. Okay. Okay. I got a machete. Let's take some books. What you got for me? Guys got nothing. And so this is what we do. We just rob people. Bro, this is like, I don't know what to do. I'm just like so overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed, I'm just a lot of stuff. You guys got anything for me in here? Hello? <coughs> ah! Jeez! Ow! Ow, I'm sorry! 
What was that? Okay, well, we're going in. How do I? Come in. Yeah. Hold that. Hold that. Bloody grasshoppers. Any more? We wanted them, huh? Come here. Why are you running away? Yeah. Play mantis. Wanna square up to me? Watch yourself. Effects. Agility minus one. How do I see myself again? Oh wow. Look at me. Hey yo, I'm stocked up. Ooh, cool bikes. What's up, sir? Doing alright. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. Yeah. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Uh, why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You were a prospector? Like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Hmm. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare part. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Alright. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I already killed them. <laughs> Yeah, the the bloody mantises. I got them. Don't worry about that. Oh, whoa! Cheyenne, stay. What's up? Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Um, Doc Doctor Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Okay. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Yeah, probably. Meet me outside behind the saloon. Oh, okay. I mean, we just met, but sure. Oh, I could have you. Dean Domino. Oh, I don't steal things. Hello? Oh, here you are. What's up? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Uh. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. I got it. That's oh. the right idea. Yeah. Up, try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Okay. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. Next shot. Thank well, that's you. a start. Whoa. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Oh, she's like looking down at me like that, like this. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Just reload. The nice dog you have here. Everything alright? Uh, uh, Nothing. Until next time. Okay. Uh, I just thought we could have like a conversation while we get there. Not just run silently, you know? It's quite uh, quite a distance. It wouldn't help to get to know each other. I mean, it'd be quite cool. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Yeah. We got some geckos to clear out. Sure. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly... We can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. All right. Let's sneak up. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Why me? With it. Oh. Boom. Boom. Oh. Ow. Oh shoot! Look how they run. Bro, they're running to me like. Ah, shoot them, bro. Jeez. Bro, you just want to be to die. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't okay. take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. 
Come with me. Hey, you trying to get me killed, man? This thing almost killed me. Oh. Oh wait, wait, wait for me. He's, he's killing. All oh. Wait, how do I? Ooh. What's this? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's full out, bro. Okay, well, I don't kill him. Oh my word, this lady just keeps on. Come on. Wait. Bro, why are you all scattered in the corner? Who is this? Oh my word, she died. She died. She died. She died. Do you not see this? This woman died. I'm sorry. I'll take your stuff though. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. I tried to help Some them. people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Yep. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Oh, 50. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a brock flower. Brock Let me think flower. now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Oh, the wasteland is so ruthless, bro. Like, I came around the corner, and this lady's like, over here, like three of these things, three of these geckos trying to beat her up. That's insane. Ah. Nice. Boom. Okay, I got three of them. Okay, now I gotta get a... A rock flower. What do rock flowers look like? I don't want no trouble. What's that? Scorpion! Uh-uh-uh. Fish belt. Boom. Shoot him again. Oh my guys reloaded. Shoot him! Yeah! All that. Thank you. I'll take your stuff and leave. Ooh. There's a lot of birds over here. Feel comfortable here. Yeah. What's up? Shoot him! Shoot him! Wait, is is this where I come from? Crazy. That's, oh, here we go. Okay, I got some brock flower. Okay, you guys stay safe. I'll be on my way. Don't worry about me. I'm a wanderer. Yeah, a wanderer. I roam around, 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 around. Here we go. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Yeah. Just fine. Thank you. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right. Healing powder. Okay. Uh, yes. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Mm -hmm. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well... I hope that's enough to get you started. Thank you. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Well, I'm kind of nervous to meet her now. Just gone away. I'm hey. done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon. I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Hey, 
Oh, why is he sprinting like that, though? <laughs> That's insane. Hey, what's up? Are we gonna talk? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thank you. I've heard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Mm -hmm. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Hmm. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? Yeah. That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with now. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. Okay. I'd even set you up with a discount. Oh. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Mm-hmm. So I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more? What if I help the power gangers? Then then what? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up though. Of course, mm -hmm. one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they're going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Which it could be, for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. The strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Mm. Tell me more about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Oh. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. All right. Be careful out there. Will do. Okay, well, what's up, good spring settler? You Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. None taken. I mean, I didn't really want to be here, but yeah, I am. No, one time I was delivering something, and then I got kidnapped by some guy. He shot me in the head, and now I'm here. Yeah, it's quite a dilemma. I'm, I tell you that for free. Yeah. That's close enough. Whoa. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Hey, I, I, I want nothing to do with you, brother. Relax. I'm just looking for shelter. And I'm looking for you. <laughs> I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Thank you, we got good. off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Caravan? I have no idea what caravan, no. It's a two-player game, okay. and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. Huh? The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, okay. take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So. You feel like playing a game? I have no idea how to play it, but 
Did you know there's a man named John Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do with the power... Power gangers? What are you going to do with the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I mean, you need a hide gun. I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see what I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. I... She's been friendlier than most around here. I don't need to die, but okay, I'll ask her. With the sunny smiles. Alright, bet. Gotta get a crew up and go shoot up the place. Sunny, where you at? Hey. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yep. I'm going to help Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Say less? Okay. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk Aye. to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Any ideas how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing mm. Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. I bet. See if I can get some supplies over here. Howdy. Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? Nope. I need supplies to fight the powder gangs. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap invest. Let him take over the town. Then. I'm sure your business will be much better. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Yeah. I sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. I understand. All right. Welcome Dating. to the team. All right. Okay, well, he's joined. Doctor. Where you at? Hey. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? I need some extra stump packs. The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks, oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can. Okay, three stem packs added. Now, gotta go to Trudy. Wherever she is. I feel like she's gonna be quite hard to convince, but doesn't have to try. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Nah, nah, nah. You joining us. I was planning on sitting this one out. Yeah. But for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll yeah. see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Thank you. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Yeah. I knew she would join. Hey. Hey, wake your ass up, boy. Come on. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Nah, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. I hope I'm ready. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Okay, how many are they? At least six. six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Okay, then. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. There's only six of them. Pfft. I got my Glock ready, bro. Let's go. Are they here? Keep an eye out. I still think there's a few out there. All right, wait. Oh, oh, shoot. 
Okay. I'm a bit far out for that. Okay. Ooh. Aha! Cheers, pal! Boom! Yeah! I'm getting calm. Oh, duck! Watch out for the duck! Don't kill the duck! Okay. I'm out, wait. Let's miss all the bloody shots. There we go. Where's the other one? Got me, sir. Let's all my shots. Oh, he's dead. Who are you? Let's do a cop. What's up? This me and you now, pal. You dead. Boom. Yeah. Hold that, Joe. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's you, Ringo. Okay. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I didn't hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, mm. but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. Yeah. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Will do. Keep me out of this. Ow! Ow, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why is he shooting me? No, why are you shooting me? Ow! Bro, why are you shooting me? Bro, why is Ringo shooting me? What's going on here? Bro, why are they shooting me? Ringo! Ow! What's going on? Why is everyone against me now all of a sudden? Just go, just go, just go, just walk. You guys, I can leave me out of this and start shooting me. Ah, oh, great. Now they're all following me. Hopefully they're not following me still. They're still following me. Go away. I killed your boy Ringo, okay? Because he tried to kill me. For no reason. Leave me out of this. Boom, boom, boom. Brick. Fast travel. You discover several locations you can fast travel. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Black Mountain Radio. Oh. Look at this place. Oh, there's New Vegas! Look over there! That's where I have to go. Alright, I think maybe that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. Fallout New Vegas. Seems like there's a lot to unpack in this universe, in this wasteland. From what I played so far, it's pretty sick. For some reason, I don't know why Ringo attacked me. I, I really don't know why. I don't know if that was like a glitch or something. Or I said something wrong to him to make him attack me. It looks like that whole settlement down there is all after my ass for some reason. Even though I helped them defeat the powder gangers. Now, Rango is like, uh, or Ringo is like, nah, I'm gonna kill you now. After giving me all these caps. Nah, that's ridiculous. This seems like a really fun game. I don't know if I'll revisit it on the channel. If you guys want to see another episode of this, let me know. But yeah, that's Fallout New Vegas. Uh, if you guys have seen the series, let me know what you guys thought about it. I know I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, everyone seems to be going through the Fallout phase at the moment, which is really cool to see. Remember, verse of the day is down below in the description. I hope you guys read it. Remember, God loves you. I love you. Have a great day.